It's the final night of the competition in and around Bournemouth, where approximately 30,000 ice creams are sold over a busy weekend. Chocolate chip. Ooh, my favourite. And hoping to scoop the prize tonight is driving instructor Sarah. This week, some people have taken some shortcuts. So tonight, my intention is to make everything from scratch. And that of course, is a major disaster. <laughs> then I might have to nip to the shop. Sarah has given a lot of criticism this week. But I think tonight, she's got to expect a little bit back. She better be bringing it tonight because um, you can't dish it out and not take it. <laughs> Looks like the game's on. What have you got up your sleeve? My theme today is weddings because I absolutely love them. I've been going to weddings since my mother was a florist since I was four years old. I'm going to give my guests a wedding that they're never going to forget. Caramelised onion, cheese and tomato tartlet. I made tarts, and as we can see, Sarah is making tarts. This is the battle of the tarts. Kasara's salt crust pastry was quite um, soggy um, and slightly undercooked. So it should be crusty and hopefully well cooked. So this week, Sarah's been very pointed in her comments about other people's pastry. For that reason, I think that Sarah really probably does know what she's doing with this sort of thing, but she'd better pull it off. If she makes it from scratch, which I think she will, this is a very technical starter. Oh, she is. I'm going to blind bake the pastry now so that hopefully we don't have a soggy bottom. Fingers crossed. She's mentioned quite a few times about soggy bottoms this week, so let's see whether she can keep her bottom dry. The onions, cheese and tomatoes are placed before being covered in an eggy mixture. They'll be cooked tonight. I'm really happy. They're looking great. This menu is no way better than mine. This is safe. Mine was bold. I do not think this is a winning menu. It's actually probably the dullest menu of the week. OK, well, that's all the food prepped and ready to go. I think it's time to go and get my hat on. Oh, it's a wedding theme. I think it might be time for me to pull out my ace card with my outfit tonight. Oh, I can hear the wedding bells. It does feel like we're at a wedding. As Ed hasn't dressed up all week and he didn't go for it on his night, I'm hoping that he's going to go all out for it yeah. tonight. He definitely has. The locals approve. Oh, my, oh my God! God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Good evening, Good evening everybody. Oh, Good evening. Good evening. Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Oh, my God, you look absolutely fantastic. Hello, darling. This so makes up. It makes up. Makes up. Come here, gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, mate, the best thing about that dress is your hairy chest. Oh, thank you, mate. <laughs> if you play your cards right tonight, you might be going home with a new bride. <laughs> hey! <laughs> chin, chin. I'm a pretty good card player. <laughs> Cheers! Cheers! I'm feeling very confident about my tops. What are you doing? Said tarts are whipped out of the oven. Oh, it's squeaky bum time. The tarts are looking good. I'm just going to check the bottoms. Oh, no soggy bottom. I'm so impressed with myself. Clearly. And we are almost ready to go. First course of the evening, a caramelised onion, cheese and tomato tartlet. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. So do take your hats off if you wish. Everybody, please tuck in. Oh, Literally. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, just, just going to tuck this in. Oh, my gosh. How did you feel about the uh, onion tart? I love it. Honestly, it's absolutely divine. It's like something you would get proper restaurant quality. Oh, thank you. Yeah. That means so much. Okay. Thank you. I could not fault that starter one bit. It was absolutely perfect for me. And the pastry? So the pastry is homemade then? Yes, I did make the pastry myself, thank you. As expected, I knew that you <laughs> would. After yours, I was thinking, oh my gosh, I've got a lot to live up to here. Yes, I did think, oh no, it's the battle of the caramelised onions, it's the battle of the pastry, it's the battle of the tart. So I was also like, oh no, when I read it. But I mean, really, really, really good. I like it a lot. I think that she was so preoccupied in not having a soggy bottom that she kind of overcooked it a little bit. It was a little bit too crumbly. It was maybe a little bit too dry. Caramelised onion tart twice in a week. That one was better than the one we had on Wednesday. Well, I'm very impressed to say your bottom is firm. Thank you. I've waited a long time for someone to say that. <laughs> oh, saucy. <laughs>
The pastry was really good. The filling of the, of the tart uh, just wasn't um, powerful enough in terms of flavour. It's not the tastiest starter we've had this week. I am going to take my veil off, I'm afraid. Oh, no, that's all right, Ed. I think we should get a round of applause for wearing it in first place. So, well done. Way! Yeah, let me put it up there. The reason it's a wedding theme is because I have an absolute love for weddings. Oh. OK, that's simple. Sarah, I think perhaps this is the same menu that you've had at your wedding. You're absolutely right, Andy. It is the menu from our wedding. Good oh, guess. Well, I'm excited to share it with you. Oh, Aww. thank you. I thought it was quite touching, really, that something, a moment so personal to her that she kind of wanted to share with us. Oh, I enjoy weddings almost as much as I enjoy funerals. You bring people together who love each other, you have fun. So the first date with my husband was a blind date. So who would like to tell me what their strangest date is and why? The first date that I had with my partner, uh, I invited her to come night flying with me. First date? Yes, yes. Yeah, I wouldn't even get in a man's car on the first date, let alone a plane. <laughs> I mean, taking your first date flying at night a shocker. I think I'd probably want to go for a drink first before I try someone to take me on a night flight. I went on an internet date with a guy. I, in my picture, looked like me and he looked like him. It's all fine. We turn up at the place and he is my absolute double ganger. Uh, like, honestly, height, face. And I was like, are you joking me? I was <laughs> like, no. And then just went home. Oh, but wait, wait, Ed, don't you fancy what you look like? Absolutely not. Well, maybe tonight, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> look at me, beautiful princess. So everybody's eaten everything on their plates. There didn't seem to be any criticism, and that makes me feel really happy that I've given everybody a lovely stuff. Food prepped, Hassan just has time to set up for his evening's entertainment. You guys, you all in a good mood? There's no one there. If Hassan's going to have some fun and games tonight, because he's kept his car so close to his chest all week, I have no idea what his interests are. Let me hear you say, yeah! I think that's going to have to do. Maybe he's going to sing Mysterious Vegan for us tonight. Why would he do that? In the style of Peter Andre. Oh, now you mention it. Mysterious right, off to get changed and look pretty. Good luck with that. I thought I had it in the bag, but it's competition. I now have some serious competition. Time to get this party started. I'm buzzing. Like a corduroy bumblebee. First up, it's Josie. Welcome to my home now. Thank uh, you. That is uh, sparkling sake or Ooh. Japanese champagne. Well, which one is it? Hey, Paula. Next up, it's spice phobe Paula. That's he looked dapper today. He looks dapper today. Uh, you know, when can you wear a cravat? I thought a cravat was a prawn. Or is that a cravat? A cravat is a prawn. Ah, yeah, I yeah. see. Now, that would be weird <laughs> if you had a prawn I, I was really worried I got it wrong then. <laughs> If he was wearing a prawn round his neck, that would have just delighted me even more. Might have been a tad whiffy, though. Hey, hey, hello, it's Sarah. I wonder if you've had a taste of the drink. It's Japanese champagne or sparkling sake. Again, which is it? That's delicious. I don't usually drink wine, but I would drink a bucket of this. It could get quite expensive. And quite messy. <laughs> <laughs> Traditionally, uh, it's not considered honourable to drink sake out of a bucket. What about Japanese champagne? <laughs> Last in, current leader Rod. You look very beautiful. Thank you. Give us a twirl. Woohoo! I'm wearing tonight um, a, an ethnic outfit. It came from Southeast Asia. It looks kind of Chinese. Now, what do you think you're drinking? It's not cremant. Is it cremant? It's a Japanese champagne or sparkling sake. Oh. I guess we'll never know. Cheers. Cheers! Cheers! With the kimchi proving a little hot to handle, Hassan tries to distract his guests with a little game. <laughs> I'm not sure you've got a flavour of me mm -hmm. yet, so try and guess what I do for a living. Forklift driver. Good guess, no? Nope. Engineer? Uh, no. I think that you're so calm under pressure and you've been so measured during the week. Are you some sort of surgeon? Think you're confusing calm and measured with not really fast. I'm glad that I exude <laughs> a calm <laughs> exterior. That'll be the effect of the corduroy. Accountant? Oh, close. I'm a solicitor. It would be 
with all due respect, the last thing I would have thought he would have done. You thought he was an accountant! Well, guess what? The exciting revelations don't stop there. This'll be right up your tickle stick, Rod. He could be a drag queen. He's got a very interesting eye arch. Oh. But he's a singer. Well, we don't know yet, do we? I was wondering if he was going to be a Peter Andre impersonator. You too! I wondered if he was going to be some sort of dream boy. I hope he keeps his clothes on. Happiness! Happiness! Welcome to Hassan's Comedy Night! I didn't see that coming. So, I went to the club. I saw her and she saw me. We started getting it on on her sofa. I looked over her shoulder and I saw unpaid bills and overdue rent statements. I said, Ooh, let's forget about getting under the bed sheets. Let's turn on Excel spreadsheet and sort out your financial affairs. Hassan's comedy song was genius. And then down the left hand side of the spreadsheet, we can have your incoming and outgoings, <laughs> such as expenditure on wear and tear on your car. Or... It was so good. It more than made up for his food. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, God, thank you. <laughs> when I saw Hassan behind the mic, I just wanted to push him off and take over the mic and do a 10-minute set of my own. So I think I think we should introduce Rod to, to the stage. Well, here's your chance, Rod. <laughs> Give him a big cheer. <laughs> when I was growing up, I said, Daddy, I want to be a chef. He said, no son of mine's going to be a chef. I'm going to put you in the army. I mean, can you imagine <laughs> me going into the army and going up to the sergeant major and saying, does this come in any other colour? <laughs> and can I wear my good gold belt? <laughs> Finally, Rod takes to the stage. Where was that on night one, right? I've been eager to find out what his material was like, so it was lovely seeing him up stage. And it was hilarious. Meanwhile, the hosts are on the hunt for points and have arranged some holiday park hijinks. Along with other attractions on our park, which includes the swimming pool. Very nice. Um, a skate park. Ooh. We've got a tennis court and a bistro. And a bistro. Uh, we've also got crazy golf. No. And we are going to have a one hole challenge. Choose your weapon. <laughs> <laughs> this could be fun. Go on, Ollie. Go Ollie on, at Ollie. the first. Oh. No, no, he's found the rough there. Danger, no, looking for the fairway. Come on, Danny, you can no do it. No swinging now, no swinging. Go, Danny. Oh, I think there's a bit too much on that. Go, Holly, go, Holly. Obviously, putting us against them at the moment game is a little bit unfair. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's very good. Go on, go on. Oh, unlucky there. Are we ready? Yeah. The crazy golf was really good. I definitely felt some of their competitive streaks coming out. Chris, can, like Chris is definitely competitive. Definitely person. turned into a bit of a proper competition. Well, that's a nice approach from Hillary. This for the match. Go on, Chris. Go on, Chris. Oh, yeah. Here's the host with his signature putting stance. <laughs> oh, and you can see what it means to him. Chris was quite gloating quite a lot when he won, wasn't he? Thank you. Who are you waving at? Yeah, definitely. I think he was rubbing Do, it in quite a bit. Doing the old uh, snooker shot to get the ball in. Oh, we won. Yeah. OK. We're nothing not competitive, to, but nothing. we won. They must be very proud. Can we have some pudding, please? Wow. After breaking up their gooey meringue, Chris and Hillary add cream, strawberries and chocolate flakes. And here it is. Oh, what a mess. This is our take on the classic Eton mess. I hope you enjoy it. I love this. Oh, yeah. So what was the twist? Right, the twist is that the classic meringue for an Eton mess is crunchy all the way through. But we went with the pavlova classic recipe, yeah. giving you the gooey middle. Oh, OK. And then making it into the mess. I think you're losing them again, Chris. OK, so you've seen our holiday home lifestyle. So anybody that would actually move in here tomorrow, put your hands up. Yeah, go on then. <laughs> <laughs> Georgia, why no hand up? Oh, not quite. Georgia was the only one that wouldn't move in here. Maybe we'll invite her back and uh, yeah. work on her. Well, maybe. <laughs> maybe not. It'll work. Taxi! I'll give it a go. We're not moving now. <laughs> <laughs> Hands up. Who wants to live in a holiday park? Us, Georgia. Yeah, no? we, we kind of knew that. At least she's honest. Tonight, the food was good. But the atmosphere wasn't as good as last night, was it? No, and it wasn't as fun as last night. So for that reason, we're going to score Chris and Hillary a... 13. 
food was good, it was tasty, but it could have been a little more complex. And the atmosphere could have been a little bit more lively. So for that reason, we're giving Hillary and Chris a, a 15. 15. Lamb shank cooked in red wine with mash and minted greens. I absolutely adore mashed potatoes. And one of my favourites. I'm excited. Me too. Minted greens. Oh, yum, yum. Could have just left him as greens. Spoil sport. In red wine, but red wine, I'm not so sure. Would her kids eat red uh, lamb that's been cooked in red wine? Don't worry, they're not invited. <laughs> Can I put my lippy on? Not now, Julie, no. Please. No. Oh, go on then. You happy now? Ah. I can't function without my lippy. Well, me neither, I suppose. One fully functioning Julie starts by seasoning her lamb and covering in olive oil. It's all about the massage. It's all about getting all those flavours into the lamb. Here, that sizzle. Wow. I knew Mummy Julie would do like a proper, like almost like a Sunday roast. It's a very kind of family meal, this. Lamb sealed. Time to have a lay down on a bed of vegetables and get covered in vino. Oh my gosh, this looks absolutely amazing. This has got to be the winning dish. Absolutely. <laughs> Which translates as it goes into the oven. So the family tradition is, once I've drained my potatoes, my tatties, I take them out in the Scottish air, give them good old sugar about, and then it just makes them drier and it just gets the Scottish flavour infusing right through them. Show us a quick sugar then. Yoo-hoo! Let's go! The Scottish air dries them off. Yes, of course it does. Lamb shank meets some well sugared mashed tatties and some minted greens. So here is my main course, which is gorgeous Scottish lamb shanks. <gasps> they just topped over. Sorry. Oh my god. No need to apologise. Here it is, lamb shank, mash and minted greens. Oh wow! Oh, oh. ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh my wow. goodness! Wow. I hope you enjoy my Scottish <laughs> lamb shank cooked oh. in its own Oh duties. wow! <laughs> Mashed potatoes and my minted greens. Wow. This looks, um, mm. Lost for words, Eloho. Oh, it What's smells it amazing. Yeah. It's yours. You oh, yes. There you go, my lovely. Ah, <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Like you. It smells great and looks great. Oh. I think there's a compliment in there somewhere. Well, cheers, my darling. <laughs> cheers, yeah. everyone. I hope that you enjoy it. I think it's beautiful. Um, the meat just falls off the bone. Mm -hmm. The mint is perfect with the peas. If I was going to be critical, which is going to be slightly, the lamb's slightly overcooked, but it is, it is beautiful. I have to disagree uh, with, with Jamie. The meat is so tasty and it's, it's still so moist. And even if it's been in cooking for slightly longer than you thought it would be, it is honestly delicious. The vibe of the lamb was very much someone had really thought about the texture and the flavour and the, the whole dish. The lamb was really tender, it was moist, it was juicy, and it just was like melting in your mouth. Oof, yummy. There's nothing left. Oh, wow! It was superb. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> going on here? What's happening? And ah! Something I wasn't expecting. I don't know what I was expecting, but that was totally different to what I was expecting. So it was a surprise then? I would never have expected the pipe band at a dinner party. No, no. Welcome to Scotland. noise it's oh it's so beautiful to any scot to hear the 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 roll of the drums or the beginning of the bagpipes that initial hum is just it's so beautiful scott and the brew bucket Hi! Yeah. 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 
that band got my Celtic blood boiling, and I, wow, did I just want to shout, shout I'm proud to be Scottish. That was amazing! You, yeah, my Woo! darling, have nailed it. Yeah! Jilly, do you know any of them? Nope. <laughs> Mains, please! Do you know what? It's not too bad, actually. It's not bad. <laughs> And that's called a sheep joke. Martin Gramble. Maybe if Lisa likes a lamb, then uh, she might have a day off giving me the old... Uh... After heating up their mash, it's time to plate up. It could always be more tender, but hey, we give it our best shot. While Emily is on pea puree duty. Happy? Very happy. <laughs> We're putting the gravy in the teapot. It's Yorkshire. Hey, oh, very fine dining. The main is served low and slow, said the sheep. Slow cooked lamb. Ooh, Ooh lovely. And Thank you. Nice. Good luck. <laughs> mm. Do you know what I like about this dish? It's like I love mint sauce. Yeah. And I feel that's like a bit of a combination of yeah, like yeah, peas yeah. and mint yeah. sauce yeah. together, like yeah. blended. Really yeah. nice. Yeah. Isn't it, Lisa? It is really nice. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I like the carrots, I thought the carrots were really nice. The mash was really smooth and buttery and uh, the texture was great, the gravy was really nice. Blimey! I've never been a big fan of them, but that was lovely, yeah. They're yeah, naughty food. That, that, there's no doubt yeah. about that. So what did, what did you think, uh, what's it slow? No, low and slow said yeah, the sheep, what did you think it meant? I thought it sounded a little bit pretentious. Sure. Um, what do you think I mean, the menu is particularly pretentious, but you are obviously quite pretentious. <gasps> yeah, I'm curious course, as in. to know um, what about me is it the way I speak, is the way I act, what makes me pretentious, do or is just what? generally me? You're like a, a little annoying brother. I like it. Just like mm. desperate for attention. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, Look fair. at me, look at me! Yeah. Fair. <laughs> I'm Jake! <laughs> Hello! Hello! Oh, baby. Can you see me? <laughs> and we love it. We do. Uh, but you still love your a little bit, bit, however annoying they are. Absolutely. <laughs> I always appreciate honesty, and it's always cool. OK, so um, so I, I don't really like people, and you're one of those people that I would not normally like, with your face and the hair and the banter. <laughs> uh, but you're actually quite endearing and very charming, so thank you for having us this evening. Aww. Do you want a little hug? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> When I reacted, it quickly um, fizzled out into, oh, we were just joking, Jake. We really like you, Jake, but I'm going to call you pretentious, Jake. That sort of thing. Whatever the outcome is, it's dealt with now. She won't give you a hug, though. No, she won't give me a bloody hug. <laughs> well, there are other ways of winning over one's guests. We've got one more trick up our sleeves, trying to get full scores across the board. Yeah, we've got something in the locker. Um, I expect they'll, they'll like it. Jake likes to rap. I used to play the saxophone, <laughs> haven't played it for six years, picked it up yesterday, <laughs> and we're going to try and put something together for you. This could be interesting. So when I click my fingers, guys, I want you all to go bum bum tsh, bum bum tsh. Are we ready for the dinner party? <laughs> Are we ready for the dinner party? Here we go, here we go with who, what, where, when, what you gonna do? We got Chantel and Lisa, what we gonna do? We got Tyler, Nira, then we got Javina, what you gonna say? Got the party going, let's get off our feet today, come on! Get off your feet, get a bit loose get groovy with me. We're gonna get a bit of feed on the table, got this crazy insane babel. <laughs> Is this a bad time? <laughs> <laughs> Are you two okay? Then we're gonna get a bit down to the floor. Then we're gonna get a little bit crazy more. I found it painful but entertaining. Yeah, painfully entertaining. What are you gonna do? You're gonna have a big week. What we're gonna do? We're gonna party and freak. Let's go! <laughs> Bam back to Emily. Be my love of my girl for everyone to see.
Wow. <laughs> it was just brilliant. Like I've never laughed so much in my entire life. It was just life. unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's something we won't forget for a while. <laughs> <laughs>